Our goal in this problem is to find the current I using nodal analysis. There are no reference nodes specified, so we can pick our own. The other thing to notice is that we have, in addition to the independent current source, we have independent voltage source and independent voltage source over here. So the presence of the voltage sources uh, effectively constrains some of the nodes to already be set at a specific node voltage value. Since we don't need to, well, since we can pick any reference node that we like, it is helpful to choose one that minimizes the number of equations we have to write. For example, if I were to choose my reference node here, uh, that doesn't help me uh, very much because the voltage source over here would not be grounded. So it's better if we can choose the ground point such that it grounds as many of the sources as possible. So I'll pick the ground right here and that means right away that this node voltage is known to be 24 volts. Again because this constrains the other or con constrains that top node to be 24 volts above the ground point. And I somehow lost my volts over here. This is 8 volts. And so this 8 volt source likewise gives this node voltage already as 8 volts. So it's not necessary to write equations at that point. So the only places remaining to write equations is this node and this node. Once we found those values, then the current I could be found as, sorry, V1 minus V2, V2 divided by the 4 ohm resistor. And so that will give us the desired result. So what we need to do then is write an equation at node 1 and an equation at node 2. So equation uh, at node 1, we could write, this would be the current going off straight west, would be V1 minus 24 divided by 8. The northward current is minus 5. The eastbound current is the voltage across the resistor divided by the resistance plus the southbound current is V1 divided by 8. Some of those currents is 0. I'll write the second equation down here. Second equation, I'll start with the uh, westbound current. V2 minus V1 over 4. Northbound current is 5 amps. Eastbound is V2 minus 8 divided by the 8 ohm resistor. And the southbound current is V2 minus 0 over 8. And that result is 0. Let's go ahead and solve these pair of equations. Flash the maple solution at you. And we have V1 is 16 volts. V2, interestingly enough, works out to be uh, 0 volts in this case. 16. Say again, V1 was 16, V2 is 0. So coming back here, we see I'll bring this equation out here. So I is 16 over 4 or